Skits. Oh, it's getting Hello. all catchy now. Are we on? Trip? Yes, mate, we're on. I can't say these things. I wanted to. I wanted people to hear what a potty mouth you really have. Listen, everyone, it's Trev. That intro. Did I mention that in the last episode? I don't care. I think we're reaching it for the next hundred. It's pretty good, isn't it? Just a bit. It's a shame about us, though, isn't it? Well, no. I thought I was quite. Do you think we could put a bit more money into like the set? No, no, no. This is fine. This is naturalistic. Okay. Naturalistic. If it's good enough for. What are the naturalistic painters? If it's good enough for, um... Sorry, I can't be asked. I, I only like Constable. <laughs> you started getting all arty-farty then. Yeah, I know. You I, ran, you I ran didn't up want your to give, bum, didn't you? No, no, no. I, I didn't want to give away too much. OK, listen. Right, uh, let's get no, back exactly, to beers. Yes. Uh, let's get back to the beers, because that's really what Beer Sweden TV should be all about. So, last minute. episode was English as it gets. Five minutes. Uh, this one's Swedish. Um, and there's a little story behind this. Uh, this is the beer that I dragged back with me. I've actually been, I don't know if you follow the blog. Well, you should follow the blog. Or well, actually, it's not a blog anymore, Trev. No, 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 it's a, what it's is online it? digital website, a magazine. <laughs> You're laughing at it. It is. Um, anyway, um, you'll see that um, I'm actually doing a bit of TV, Trev, without you. Oh, no, I saw it, mate. Um, with uh, a real proper TV, like with proper, like, producers. Well, proper-ish. Proper-ish. Producers, they say action and everything. Trev. Really? Really, I'm quite so <laughs> um, and um, I don't get to drink much, it's just standing around most of the day. Uh, but anyway, um, and one of, the, one of the bits of, for the first pilot series, so we're trying to get beer on TV, proper TV, um, and um, one of the uh, first places we went to was Nunes Ham. Uh, Nunes Ham's, uh, Ham's uh, Ong Brugeri. Um, and uh, Steam brewery for the Steam English brewery. Uh, And we went down there, we had a wonderful afternoon, a really, really interesting afternoon with the whole gang down there. Uh, they were very kind, opened the doors to us, let us, you know, look around. We looked everywhere, uh, underneath all the sofas, behind them all, everywhere, looking. And we got a real insight into the brewery, fantastic brewery, uh, wonderful story behind it. I know they've released a book, actually, that if anyone's interested in, you know, just trying to get an idea of what it takes to open a craft brewery. Uh, just out of interest, did, really they have good, like, uh, did they have like a tasting room and stuff? They have a come? wonderful tasting really? room. Really? And they've got no problems in the Sam with a commune or anything? No, no, they've got no problems at all. Very supportive of them. Good, good, good. Yes. Nice to know, it? isn't it? Listening to that, yeah, Umeo come in. Uh, anyway, um, they, they, the thing is, it's, it's a beautiful place um, and um, obviously they do great beers. Uh, I think Nunes Hams uh, is got uh, a pretty good reputation for quality beers, exciting beers too. Um, all of them named after local uh, landmarks. Trev, did you know that? Little landmarks. This one's Pickler, Pickler Pils. Um, it was the beer that we were trying because we were doing an episode on Pilsner. Can you see that, Trev? Can you? Pickler Pils. Pickler Pils. And that's an island, as I understand it, right where people go and have parties. Pickler. Pickler. Pickler Urn. Yes, that's right. And they basically misbehave, as I understand Ooh. it. Um, but let's not go into that. Uh, Pils, of course, because this is a Pilsner style beer. Not a true Pilsner, because if it's true Pilsner, it have to come from Pilsen. But it's a Pilsner style beer and it actually uses the Saz hop, which every Pilsner worth its Pils has to have in it. Okay? The Bohemian this trend, The Bohemian hop Saz. Wonderful hop of course, very crisp, very ar aromatic, uh, very spicy. And I'm hoping to get that in the beer. In fact, I know it's going to be there because I tried lots of it when I was there. When you pour it, it's almost got a, like a slight greenish hue to it in this light. Jeff. Look at that. Beautiful. Everything you want in a Pilsner. Okay. You've got that beautiful sort of straw, hay coloured body and that nice bleached, white, frothy, foamy head to it. Absolutely gorgeous and obviously very clear too. Unpasteurised, of course, in the bottle, but filtered. Because hmm? pasteurised is best. Pasteurised is best. Now listen, when you smell it, what I love about this Pilsner is you've got this lovely herby sort of edge to it, okay? Uh, there's none of that sort of buttery note that you sometimes get in some Pilsners, uh, which I particularly, I don't really like. This is very dry and it's very herby on the nose. Let's give it a little sippily sips it. Um, it's very good to be served cold, so basically you just drink it outside in Norland and it'll be the perfect temperature. Uh, this is about 6 degrees I would say and that's perfect because you want the beer to be refreshing, crisp and this has got a beautiful bitter finish to it. 
That's exactly what I want in my pilsners. Again, uh, not much butterness, not so that butterscotch, that sort of, you know, but it got action. This is clean. It's a very clean pilsner with a nice, crisp, herby, oregano, sort of uh, green finish to it. Absolutely delicious. What's I'm paper folding got to do with anything? I don't... Paper folding. Trev, oregano. Uh, oregano. I think the... Oh, opposite. oregano. Oregano. Um, anyway. Oh. Tomato, I tomato. Could it, I could drink it all day long. ABV, Trev? ABV? Um, got no idea. Uh, four point something. I like I the uh, label, actually. Label's cool. All Nunes Ham's stuff, I think, is actually very classic. Uh, mm. Very nice look to it. Um, I actually would cut, stick my neck out here, Trev. Morning. That's just too cold to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stick my neck out just delicately and say that I think this is one of the best Pils, Pilsner style beers brewed by a Swedish brewery in this country today. So if you can get hold of it, get hold of it. In terms of rating, I'm going to go, now Pilsner of course, I'm a bit more of an ale sort of guy, uh, so naturally I tend to be fairly mean on the ratings for Pilsners, but I'm going to go four, there's another four, point, point, two. Right, fair enough. Four point two because I think it's an absolutely exceptional Swedish pilsner. I'll have a go on that in a minute. All right then, Trev. Hey, we didn't do too bad there, were there? That I was quite that was short. Almost, that was almost five minutes. It's only because I was listening to music whilst he was going on. Exactly. Anyway, everyone, until next time. Cheers and beers.